everybody, welcome back to the park. Hope you're having an awesome day out there. We're back in Dragon Vale, checking out what's new with the Arcane Pen Tournament still going on. And um, I think we got some new dragons in the park today. If you look over here in our nursery, we've got one of the Olympus dragons. And this looks like it's the, let me see, uh, the Herald dragon. And what's really cool is, I think we got another one in here, I think. Uh, but we're going to check that out in a second. I'm going to uh, hatch some of these or display or sell. I don't think we need to hatch this one. We're going to sell this Electrum Dragon right there. And uh, let's sell this one, the Crystal Dragon. There goes the crystal dragon, and we're gonna see what is in here now. I think I'm hoping it's also another another herald dragon, but let's uh, finish this off and see what we get. It's a double rings weekend as well. That's why we got the forty rings, and check it out. We got two herald dragons in the nursery. Isn't that just amazing? Now to fill you in on what combos we used, the first one that's sort of halfway done there, we used a double rainbow and someone else's herald dragon in the, the co-op island. And this new one we just got, you probably noticed we were using the Fates dragon and uh, I think this is the same other person's uh, Herald Dragon, if you go in here, and uh, we can't rebreed it because they've changed their dragon, but it was another Herald Dragon in the co-op, so that is amazing. We got two Herald Dragons, and uh, you know, as much as I'd like to have a Herald Dragon and a Herald Dragon pedestal, um, I think I'd like to hatch both of them, but I'm going to just hatch the one Herald Dragon today and get that into the park so we can all take a look at it. And we'll do a few other gameplay things as well while we're here, but let's uh, do the Herald Dragon. We're going to need to make some room for the Herald Dragon. And you can see we've got quite a few other Olympus Dragons from the uh, tournament in here. We've got our, our Valor Dragon, the Trimera Dragon, the new uh, C Cerberus Dragon. I want to see, I want to say uh, Cerebus because of that uh, comic I know about. And I also got the decoration for the Cerberus Dragon. If you check it out, here's what it does. Here's the animation for it. It looks pretty awesome. Opens up, does a little electrical thing and zapping and popping and then it closes, closes right back up again. It's very cool. And if you read about it here on the info, um, what does it say about it? The Guardian's Gate is the rift in which all socks and wands go poof. So you throw your socks in there, and they're definitely going to go poof. Or a wand. Anything, actually. So you've got to stay clear of that. It looks pretty uh, dangerous. Uh, but let's make some room for our, our new... Herald Dragon. And let's see, um, what dragon should I put in? I like to keep these Olympus dragons. I think I'm going to have to get another Olympus habitat eventually with all these Olympus dragons, but I maxed out on my habitats right now. So let's cash out a few habitats on this island. And as I said, it's a double ring weekend. That's why we're getting four rings instead of the two rings when we cash out a habitat. So let's put, let's see. Got all these Olympus dragons here. We got two Fates dragons. I think I'm going to put one of these Fates dragons into the hibernation cave. And let's go in here and I don't know which one that's here in the parade is in the um in that 
Olympus Habitat, but let's see which one we can put back here. This one right here. So if we move it to our hibernation cave and let's go get our new Herald Dragon. This is going to be cool. Um, we'll finish it for 34 gems. Wait a second here. Yeah, we finished it for 34 gems. We finished actually the new one we just got. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> that was smart. That's uh, okay. I used 34 gems. And let's go select our Olympus habitat. And here comes our new Herald Dragon. Cool. Okay, we did some posts to Twitter and Facebook. Got a couple of gems here. That'll get back a couple of gems. And let's go level up our new Herald Dragon. Here he comes. Or she. Agamemnon is the name of this Herald Dragon. That's quite a serious name. Pretty profound if you don't say so myself. Here we go, level 15. The new Herald Dragon in the park. It is kind of a small dragon. Wow, it's a lot smaller than the other ones. Wow, look at how small it is. That's a really tiny, tiny dragon. <laughs> it looks amazing. It looks amazing, but it's it's a small dragon. Let's go check out the info on this Herald Dragon. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. So it's 205 coins a minute. Of course, it's an Olympus Dragon, and it's got the same incubation time as all the other Olympus Dragons. And it's a pretty awesome looking dragon. So there's the Herald Dragon in the park. And we got it with two different combos. A double rainbow and another player's Herald Dragon. And a Fates Dragon and another player's Herald Dragon. For our second Herald Dragon. So that's pretty incredible. Getting both... Uh, getting Herald Dragons from both of those combos. So there you have it. Go breed a combo if you haven't got one in your park already. And uh, if you haven't tried for one, those are the combos I used. Hopefully if you use the same combos, um, you can get your Herald Dragon as well. Uh, and you can also connect with me on Game Center and I'll uh, put the Herald Dragon up for you to breed with as well, but I'm sure there's probably other players out there with a Herald Dragon. But I'll do that just in case you need a Herald Dragon to breed with. I'm just going to cash out some coins here. And let's see what else is in our nursery. we got one spot available. we got to start another one here. Let's start another dragon. If you, we look here at the dragons that we already have we've got is it three or four we've got our valor now we have our herald and our thunderbolt so that's three and of course the the fates and the trimera and the uh, cerberus dragon but that leaves two more olympus dragons that are in the tournament So let's look in the hidden bolt, and I think we're going to try for the Stygian Dragon now, and see if we can get that. And it's the same breed time, or incubation time. Uh, the combos for the Stygian Dragon, you can use a Gold Dragon, or any Olympus Dragon, or a Cyclops in the co-op with another player Stygian Dragon. So let's go do that. Let's try a Cyclops Dragon with a, another player's Stygian and Dragon. Let's see if we can find another Stygian Dragon. So let's go try and find another Stygian Dragon. There's probably one in here somewhere. Let's go down a little ways here. If we can find a level 15 Stygian Dragon, that would be... There's one right there. That would be perfect. So there's our Stygian, and we're going to go get our Cyclops Dragon. Okay, there's our Cyclops Dragon right there. 
So a Cyclops and a Stygian Dragon, trying for the Stygian Dragon now. That's an awesome dragon, I really like the look of that dragon, it'd be great to have it in the park. And let's see if we got the right breed time here. Not yet. But we're going to let that go and let it finish without gems, and we're going to try it when that's done, we'll try it again. Let's see if we can get the Stygian Dragon in the park. And we got one more Herald Dragon, we'll let that one finish. And we got another spot in the nursery. And all our islands and caves. Oh, we haven't restarted this. We're going to start this with our monolith dragons, trying to get the monolith six. And we'll go into our social button. Here we are in our gifts. And we're going to scroll down to get a twin dragon, fill up the nursery. What do we got here? That's going to take a while. Let's see, how long is this one? The halo is 12 hours. And here's a lava that takes ooh, 10 hours, almost as long. And 14 hours. We keep getting longer and longer here. Uh, 22 hours. I want to get a short breed time. Oh, here's, I think this one's fairly short. Yeah. 30 minutes, that's about as short as you can get. Let's put that into the nursery. There we go. And let's collect our food and we'll get our double rings for that. And set up our food again quickly. So it may seem you have like you have more rings to collect on a double weekend, but it's not really the case. All you're doing is the same things you did before to max out, you're just getting double the amount of rings. So it's not double the amount of work, it's just you end up with double the amount of rings, which is which is fine with me. And let's set up some dragons in the arena. Get that going again. And we got lightning here. Our lightning dragon's busy so we'll use another let's use a liberty dragon and we got a dark here's a level 20 wisp let's see if we can find a level 20 or a fairly high level dark dragon. Oh, there's one right there, awesome got the prey going let's name some dragons here and this looks like the Pollen Dragon. Which one do you think this is? My guess is the Jasper. I think it's a Jasper Dragon. Got it. And this looks like a Valor. One of the new dragons. Cool, we got that one. And this one, I would say, is a Thunderbolt. Got it. And which one would this be? Bouquet Dragon. That's my guess. Bouquet? Let's go for the bouquet. Got it. And we're getting 60 rings each time. And that's definitely the Pharaoh Dragon. And the Frostbite Dragon. We're doing really well. And that is definitely the Prism. And we're doing really, really well. Okay. Ragnarok? Ragnarok. Yeah. Got it. And of course, Firefly Dragon. That's an easy one to spot. So that was 600 rings just on that game. Do a wish. And it's getting up higher and higher, of course. And we got a couple of prizes we haven't collected, I don't think. Yeah, 30 and 31. So the prize for today 31 is going to be 14% cash, 30 is 750 rings, so I'm going to wait till I max out and then I'll get those rings. Although if you do collect it before you max out, it doesn't add to the max of the day. So you should be okay if you do collect it before you max out. And we got some gems here, and some rings with those gems, and max, collect some coins, and Kairos is done. You got two keys. Ooh, three gems, nice. And lots of dragon cash. 
and another gem here some more rings love it lots of dragon cash and rings so make sure you collect your dragon cash after your habitats have maxed out if you need to go into your park a few times a day to do it then do it it's going to get you more dragon cash throughout the day there we go collecting all these coins I've got most of these habitats set up so I don't need to go in every few hours but you know for the plant habitats and the lightning and the dark and the metal they max out pretty quick even though they are the large versions of those habitats so let's do a quest on Gia here so the Riffire Mire is a Prometheum Dragon and that's whoops, metal and dark and there is Prometheum right there send the Prometheum on a quest and Kairos have a quest here the soul strike and it's fire light and light and dark and fire now that's that's bringing up no dragons at all so it may not be a dragon with those elements so sometimes on quests uh, when it has the elements at the top it's not necessarily a dragon with those elements I'm guessing the sun strike dragon is the dragon to use according to the the list I've been working from but if you don't have the sun struck dragon um, then you can choose a dragon that has uh, I guess two or three of those elements there isn't one that has all three so you know like a dark rift or a light rift or a, a, a dark and fire like a watch or a dungeon dragon if you don't have the the dragon I guess that's been chosen for this for this uh, soul strike quest now let's see if we can find our sunstruck in here there it is right there so we send sunstruck on a quest look at this tiny little two tiny little gem dragons flying around and we can go check our Colosseum I don't think it's done yet but obviously oh look at that it's got seven minutes left so let's come back to the Colosseum uh, when that's done it's gonna be done really soon uh, why don't we try and see if we can find oh there's a banner bearer right there got one gem oh and 50 rings perfect timing in the right place at the right time normally it takes a while to find those banner bearers but we got lucky that time and I like to use my path trick I go into path mode and all these guys are a lot more visible because everything becomes transparent so we can search around and hopefully find a banner bearer a lot more quickly which is right there another one and we got the second house banner bearer as you notice our visitors button up here doesn't have the flags on it and it says another dragon another island would allow for more dragons and visitors yeah but I've got all the islands though so I have to wait till they add an island to the game so we got both of our house banner bearers pretty quick there why don't we finish off with a race or two or however many we want to play here so we got a fire and a dark Let's go with Watch Dragon. And remember, keep your finger right there on the dragon's bar, and as soon as that other bar gets to your finger, just tap. A lot of people focus on the dragon and where they are on the track, but let the track come to your finger, or those bars come to your finger, and you'll win the race 99% of the time. We've got two keys there and some good prizes yeah got some good prizes and do another race here we're gonna go filter air and lightning let's try a kite dragon and they're off got the finger on the dragon's bar 
As soon as he gets to that bar, we tap, and he's shooting down the track. That kite dragon is on a mission. On a mission to first place. Keep going, kite dragon. Yeah, all the way to first place. And we got one key. Let's see what we get in this chest. 50,000 food. Not bad at all. Let's do one more race. We got a filter. Oh, we got a lot of filters. This looks like it's going to be pan long, I think. Because that's fire, dot, dot, dot. Fire, earth, water, and air, and the Panlong Dragon is going to be racing in this one. And got the finger on the bar, and look at him go. He is a fast dragon. No one can catch this Panlong Dragon. He knows how to race. He knows how to get the first place with very little effort. A few taps, and you're already there. Oh, we got three gems. Nice. That's right, I like to see. That's a cool prize. And one more, let's do one more here. I've got seven races left. Try to do all your races each day. Even though you don't get rings, you get lots of food, gems, and dragon cash. Which is always good to have. Look at this guy bouncing. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. Bouncing all the way down the track into first place. There we go. Got it. One key. What are we going to get? 157,500 Dragon Cash. Nice. That's very, very nice. So let's go back to our new Herald Dragon. Where are you, Herald Dragon? The tiny little Herald Dragon. He's being shy right now. He's hiding behind those larger Olympus dragons. Here he comes. Here comes the Herald Dragon. So remember, it was double rainbow and another Herald in co-op, or the Face Dragon and another Herald in co-op. And you can get the Herald Dragon into your park. So that wraps it up for the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more Dragon Veil videos. And we will see you guys next time.